It's boring as hell just seeing guns and knives all the time, don't you think? We as the audience have the right to demand more. We want unique weapons, weird weapons, weapons that do the job whilst making the user look really damn cool. Well, fear not because some movies actually don't disappoint us on that front. I'm Amy from What Culture, and here are the 10 coolest weapons used in horror movies. 10. Freddy Krueger's Claw Gloves – The Nightmare on Elm Street Franchise We cannot overlook the classics on this list, and whilst most iconic slasher weapons don't quite meet the coolest requirements here, one that absolutely does is Freddy Krueger's famous gloves. Knives aren't original at all, they're very boring indeed, actually. Attach those knives to some hokey-looking gloves, however, and you're on to a winner. Krueger's signature weapon has become one of the most widely recognisable in horror history, going on to inspire countless knockoffs and respectful nods across the genre. Hand-to-hand -hand combat has good potential for cool-looking fights, and this is even truer when the hands in question are clad with blades. In most cases, the fights don't last too long and are anything but fair, but we'd be lying if we said we didn't enjoy them. 9. The Arm Monster – Tokyo Gore Police the whole concept of Tokyo Gore Police fits pretty well onto this list, because it concerns a virus that mutates human bodies into weapons. We've seen machine gun legs, machete feet and all sorts, but there's something especially gnarly about one's own arm turning into a big, gooey, monstrous mess. Protagonist Ruka is especially skilled at taking out humans who have fallen victim to these mutations, otherwise known as engineers. Unfortunately though, in a dangerous business like hers, you can't expect to stay unharmed forever, and eventually she becomes infected herself. The man responsible for creating the virus inserts a tumour into Ruka's arm, causing it to later mutate into an alien appendage with razor-sharp teeth. She's a tough fighter already and an acclaimed engineer hunter, so adding a beastly weaponized arm into the equation can only make things better. When you're seeking revenge like she is, wanting to take out those who harmed your family with your own hands, then having one of those hands be a horrible, dangerous alien mouth is actually pretty helpful. 8. The Killer Puppets Puppet Master. This one's actually a bit of a double whammy because we've sort of got weapons on weapons here. Technically, the puppets themselves are weapons because they're activated to cause harm. However, the puppets employ use of a range of sharp objects to carry out their deadly deeds too. To take that even further, maybe even the spell used to animate the puppets could be considered a weapon because it's necessary for all the events that follow, and spellcraft is a pretty damn cool way to go about taking out your enemies. Puppets are generally terrifying as they are, sitting on shelves in weird old thrift shops staring at you with those big old eyes. It's horrifying. Well, imagine how much more horrifying that would be if they were running at you full speed from underneath your bed. The intimidation factor is important when it comes to picking a weapon, especially when you've got fickle horror audiences to please. And if you can name me one person who wouldn't absolutely shit themselves if they woke up one night to a knife-wielding puppet at the end of their bed, then genuinely, I'll be very impressed. 7. A sharpened, decorative candy cane. Anna and the Apocalypse. You can't deny that weapons made out of weird or otherwise non-threatening objects are at an elite level. It takes smarts, ingenuity, creativity, and daring to craft the perfect non-weapon weapon. Anna and the Apocalypse is a weird concept, and so it makes sense that this weird weapon would make its appearance here. The film, believe it or not, is a horror comedy Christmas musical, in which the main protagonists are a group of secondary school students. At that age and in that situation, it's understandable that you'd have very little weapons training. Plus, in the UK, getting your hands on something like a gun or a blade is thankfully a lot more difficult than some other places in the world. So whatever is a girl to do when zombies are causing havoc in her town, other than to make use of a giant candy cane with a dangerously sharpened end? Perfect for batting away the baddies and then impaling them on its sharp point, the candy cane is actually a fantastic two-use weapon. Staying alive whilst keeping the holiday spirit can be hard in the zombie apocalypse, but with this bad boy, it's really no trouble at all. 6. The Chainsaw Hand Evil Dead franchise. I mentioned earlier another weapon that comes as part and parcel of someone's body, and this one has to get extra cool points for being part of Ash Williams' body. The chainsaw hand is introduced after Ash cuts off his own possessed hand in the second film. To cut off your own hand and then replace it with a chainsaw is not only pretty smart as far as horror logic goes, but also a giant flex. If you're looking to show someone that you've got a high pain tolerance, a strong will to live, and absolute faith in yourself to perform minor surgeries, then 
then this is a pretty stellar way to go about it. You don't need me to explain to you why it's cool to have a mechanical blade as part of your body, especially when you frequently find yourself fighting baddies. It's useful, easily accessible, and ready to use at all times. Plus, it makes you look like an absolute beast. 5. Zelda's Katana – The Dead Don't Die So the film itself isn't necessarily the best that the horror genre has to offer, but think of this as just one example of how cool a katana can be. We've seen katanas in all sorts of movies, everything from whatever the first Suicide Squad was right through to the obscure martial arts horror The Legend of the Seven Golden Vampires. Katanas have a pretty good rep, featuring two in horror TV shows like The Walking Dead, where everyone's favourite badass Michonne shows us how it's done with that big bad blade. It's a simple but effective weapon, and it deserves a nod for its many uses across the horror genre. I will concede on this one that its coolness has a lot to do with how it's used. I don't for a second want to compare the clumsy, blue-lit blade bashing of 1983's Bloodbeat with the masterful wielding we see in Kill Bill, for example. But as far as blades go, this one definitely has the most potential for greatness, and if it can make Tilda Swinton's character look cool in The Dead Don't Die, even if she's devoid of almost any other interesting character elements, that's got to count for something. 4. Vando's Circular Saw – Army of the Dead Zack Snyder's Army of the Dead has no shortage of badasses doing cool things, but the one who comes out on top of them all has to be Van der Ho, one of the founding members of Last Vengeance, a mercenary group that helped countless people escape from Las Vegas after a zombie outbreak. Van der Ho has already been through a hell of a lot before the time the movie even starts. Befitting a badass guy is a badass piece, and soon we're introduced to his weapon of choice, a custom-decorated circular saw. Worn down from the battles of the zombie wars, we can make out an illustration of a yellow beast baring its teeth on the blades. Snyder explained in an interview with Empire that it's a multi-use saw, a rescue saw if you will. You could basically cut a car door off with it if you had to, or cut a hole in a wall to get away, but you could also kill zombies. It's cool and versatile. What more could you want? 3. The Drill Guitar – The Slumber Party Massacre 2 If Jimi Hendrix was ever going to become a serial killer, then this would have been the weapon for him, which I realise is quite a niche sell on this, but take one look at that thing and tell me that it isn't cool as hell. The Slumber Party Massacre movies aren't known for being particularly tasteful or subtle, and so there's nowhere more fitting than in that franchise for us to see the advent of an electric guitar doubling as a bit of oversized DIY kit. The murderer of the first movie ends his reign of terror after getting a machete to the gut, but somehow, through fear alone, one of the traumatised girls is able to revive him. Once again, he starts drilling fools left, right and centre, but this time doing so with considerably more style than before. Just for a second, imagine the unbelievable power you would feel hitting a sick riff as you chase your victims around. It's just the ultimate flex. Personally, if I'm gonna die at the hands of a terrifying, drill-wielding psycho, I'd quite like to go out to a nice soundtrack. Play us all along the watchtower, would ya? 2. The Sentinels Phantasm. The tall man's orbs have a certain je ne sais quoi about them, something about their sleek, shiny design that makes them an undeniably sexy murder weapon. Minimalist in appearance but not in function, these mysterious spheres are able to fly through the air and do some serious damage to whomever they come in physical contact with. These devices aren't just hunks of metal, within them are the minds of the tall man's victims. He uses them to protect his territory but also as keys to his hideout, and in the later Phantasm movies, they're equipped with everything from smaller torture devices devices right through to laser beams able to take out entire buildings. It's an impressive range, and anything gets automatic coolness points for being able to fly. Sometimes the best weapons don't even look immediately scary, so we have to applaud the Sentinels too for being such deadly killers even though they just look like giant marbles. 1. The Trusty Flamethrower Alien. Right, because this one is so simple, I know it's a bit controversial to put it at number one, but just hear me out. Have you ever seen someone wielding a flamethrower properly and not thought that they just looked insanely cool? We all wish we could be as cool as Ripley when she wields that thing. I mean, she's literally everything that any of us ever wanted to be. She's sexy, strong, smart, and she has a flamethrower. Flamethrowers are another simple but effective weapon, and they have the benefit of theatrics on their side too. If you want to enter any situation at all, and immediately establish yourself as the alpha, all you need is a flamethrower and a little self-belief. Ripley isn't the only great example of this in horror, though. I mean, just take a look at the thing in MacReady and tell me that isn't the coolest man you've ever seen. In addition to this, flamethrowers have proven effective not only against human villains, but against those who came to us from beyond the stars. They truly are the handy-dandy anything-killing machine that all horror protagonists could benefit from. Add a flamethrower into any given horror 
movie and I promise you it will do nothing but improve it. And that brings us to the end of this list of the 10 coolest weapons used in horror movies. There are plenty more incredible weapons out there, so let us know in the comments below what other ones you would put on this list. And remember to check out whatculture.com for more lists and articles like this every single day. As always, I've been Amy from What Culture, and I'll catch you next time.